Hi guys, it's Sam again. Uh, as previously shown on one of my videos, rabbit skinning video, uh, somebody's, uh, or quite a few people have asked how to take the skin off in one piece, uh, i.e. for tanning, uh, you know, making your own boots, hats, gloves, whatever. Uh, so I thought I'd do a video just to show you how to get on with it. Um, obviously, you know, I don't use the skins myself, they, you know, they're just chucked when I when I finish squatting them and preparing them for the pot. Um, so I, do, I don't use them myself anyway, apart from onto dummies for dog training. Um, there is people out there that know how to tan rabbit skins, that you search the internet, uh, things like that. Even search YouTube, I think there'll be something on there for on how to tan rabbit skins, different skins. It's all the same really on different skins. Uh, so I'm going to now demonstrate how to take it off all in one piece. Let's take my knife. I've already got I've already gutted this rabbit. Kidneys. Um I've taken its back legs off, front legs and its head. You've all seen how to do this in the different videos, so I'm not gonna bore you with that one again. Personally, I start at the back end. So I finish off coming down with my knife. Right right down. And just work your way and peel. Peel this flap of skin there. Take your knife and work your way up the back leg. Don't worry about if you cut cut the meat or anything like that. That'll all move out when you've uh, when you cook when you're cooking it. All the way up. All the way right up to the end. So you've got one leg free. Repeat the process on the other side. And just repeat the process up that leg. Right, oh, that hole there is where I hopped it. Nothing to be squeamish about. And let your weight up to the front. Do up the same up the front. This is just the way I do it. Other people will have different ways of of doing theirs. This is just a way that works for me. You notice the that's the elbow of the front leg. Just work your way up there. Should have done this video a few days ago, but I've been busy with work and one thing and another. I only just got round to doing it. So the rabbit's cold. If it was a little bit fresh it would skin a, a heck of a lot better don't worry about them crunching noises they're all normal noises again just work up that front leg bless you it's my nephew Ryan he's doing the recording for me today hello Right, so now you should have something that looks like that. All the legs right up to the ends are done. And I then come round to the to this end. This is cut through the through the tail. And then really you need to just get your hands in and just work it work it away. There's some people out there that do this in a couple of three minutes. Like I say, it's cold. 
as well. Nothing skins properly when it's cold. And work your way up that leg. Nearly there. There's one leg off. Two legs off. And three. There's that. There's the there's the skin. Don't you know don't you know, leave comments for me to say you know do this with the skin, do that with the skin now because obviously I don't know because I, I don't use them myself. Uh, but there will be people out there that knows what to do with them. Um, as it happens, I've I've just invested in in a new Labrador pup, so I shall be keeping this this skin myself for for training with the dummies. Um, what I'll do, I'll pin this out on a board, so it's like this. Just let it air dry, and then I shall wrap it around and secure it with a couple of elastic bands around the dummy like this so then it's something bit of sensation in the the dog's mouth when we start training for the gun uh, I will be doing a video in the next couple of days of the of the new pup as she's settled in uh, I bought her on Saturday uh, she's eight weeks and uh, six no she's nine weeks old today in fact it's her birthday so that's it, um, obviously like I said I'm not sure on tanning and different things like that, there is different methods out there um, of using the brain, I know the uh, uh, Inuits and things like that used to use brains for, for tanning moose hides or buffalo hides, things like that, um, but like I say I'm not sure on the different tanning processes but do a search, Google you know whatever your search bar at the top or like I say try YouTube um, you know and you might come lucky find something there on how to do it okay cheers